So Operation Anaconda was six months after 9-11. I knew at the time going back up there was going to be a one-way trip for me. And uh, as you imagine, a lot of things going through my mind. And this, this one thought kept coming back to me. And this, this thought in my head was the opening lines of the Boy Scout Oath. On my honor, I'll do my best to do my duty. On my honor, I'll do my best to do my duty. Finally, I started listening to it, that I have not done my best yet uh, to go get my teammate. So uh, I made the decision that I'm gonna go get my teammate. And uh, I briefed my team. I looked at all of them. I said, eyes on me, eyes on me. They all looked at me. I gave them the situation, gave them the orders, and we uh, told them we're going. It was at that time that the pilot of the first aircraft that got shot uh, volunteered to fly us. His name was Al. Volunteered to fly us back. This guy, I mean, he just got shot down. You know, now he's going to fly right back into exactly what he knows what he's getting into. Uh, and he did. I remember things getting getting very quiet, at least, at least in my mind anyway. Uh, we're lifted off. I'm, I'm on the back of the helicopter, and I can remember got my night vision goggles on and everything's green looking through my goggles I'm looking back out the ramp watching the, the countryside of Afghanistan going by. Uh, this is when my thoughts were drifting back to home and going you know they drift back to my son and, uh, basically uh, basically I'm telling them goodbye. And we landed. We took, we're taking heavy fire coming in. We landed. As so I look around, there's all these, all these muzzle flashes from everywhere, and I'm thinking there's a lot of people up here. Upon landing, I remember that same helo pilot telling me over my headset. I had a headset on, and he tells me, "Team leader, good luck." That's the last thing I remember hearing from him. I took that, took the headset off. 